I guess just to start, what's the, what's been the process like of just getting to campus, getting acclimated, getting adjusted to the team, just for both of you guys, but Gabby to start, just what's that process been like? Oh, it's been great. I mean, the team is amazing, um, making sure that we're just getting involved as freshmen and making sure that we feel at home, and it's a very um, fun family environment. Um, I know it's, it's honestly, the process has been really simple, really easy. I have felt no issues with getting along with people, getting involved with campus, finding classes, all of that's it's honestly just been great. Our support staff here is amazing. Um, we have our strength sta staff, our nutrition staff, we have our coaches, and then our teammates who have already been here. Um, when we came to campus, our teammates texted us and was like, hey, if you need help moving in, then um, come, come call me and I'll be there. So um, I think that from day one, this team has gotten along very well um, and we mesh very well even though there's um, half returners and half new people. I think that this team has really good chemistry. So yeah, you, know, you grew up in a family that's incredibly athletic. So that was your dad and your mom and aunts and uncles and sisters and everything. So growing up in that, what has that been like growing up? I mean, the last piece of pie you guys fighting for or what's going on in that family? I mean, what's that like to be in that family? Man, um, well, I would say that it's very competitive in my household and we do hold each other accountable. Um, I would say that I wasn't very focused when I was little, and my two older sisters were always on me saying, Tia, you need to go get your yeah. reps in, you need, <laughs> you need to do this and you do that. Um, not a lot of people get the privilege of living with professional athletes and four All-Americans right across the door. So I think for me, um, when I started reaching um, my potential is when I started trusting in my family members and I started trusting in the things that they were saying to me and being able to pick their minds just on a random Tuesday night, you know, I didn't have to go and DM somebody and be like, oh, what, what was the process for this, you know? Um, I think that that was a privilege for me and being able to talk to people that have already reached the heights that I'm trying to get to, it was, it was amazing, so. I always read stuff, they always say you're gonna be the best and you're gonna, you know, you're whatever, but I mean, I don't know how you feel about that, you know, I mean, that's, you know, when they, when they say that to you, what does that make you feel like? My sisters want me to be the best. Like, they want, they ch my parents see it as trial and error, and so they want um, each of us to learn from whoever came before us. So I sat there and I studied Amira when she was at UW, and then I sat there and I studied Kiki when she was at Tennessee. And every single, every single thing they learned at college, they passed down to me. So I feel like that also ties into my transition here. I feel like I was ready to be here. I was ready for the schedule. Um, I was ready for practices and all that. So um, I think that I've, I think I'm going to have a good career here and I want my little sister to be better than I ever was. Gabby, yeah, sort of along the same lines for you about your mom, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, you know, very well known in, in softball circles. What, what was that like growing up with her and, and how big of an influence has she been on your path? Oh, my mom, my mom is honestly the person I look up to the most when it comes to softball. Um, it's just, it's crazy being young. She asked me at a young age, what, what do you want out of the game? And I said, well, I want to be, I want to be one of the best, best players, right? And from there, she's like, okay, do you understand what it takes? And I was like, I mean, I was what, eight, nine years old. And I had no idea. And, and she goes, it's going to take a lot of work. And, um, I mean, from there we set our eyes on a goal and just working as hard as we can. I remember there was many nights of fighting, <laughs> but <laughs> Um, eventually you get to that age where we ended up rather instead of butting heads um, working together and from there I was just able to put my head down and continue to work and continue to grind and then I mean here I am now getting the opportunity to play on one of the biggest stages or the biggest stages and just wanting to continue to grow here and with this program. For both of you what does it mean to have those strong female role models and how much does Patty Gasco really up the ante when you think of other things, a strong female role model? I mean, for me personally, it's just, it's just amazing, right? Um, it makes you want to strive to be that strong female role model for the generation below us. I mean, that's how it feels for me at least. Um, and it just makes you want to continue to be better and to be, to be and to live the best version of yourself. I would say for me, a non-negotiable um, in my recruiting process is that I really wanted to have a female head coach. So um, my two older sisters, they played for female head coaches, and I know that Coach Gasco really preaches she wants to take girls and turn us into women. 
And um, I think that even though we've only been here for three months, we have definitely learned a lot of lessons that I know I'm going to take in um, to my life and then maybe pass on to my children. So I think that here it's, it's about maturity, and I know that I'm going to grow a lot here. What, 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 what do you regret from just like conversations you had, especially after like you were out and then as you've gotten here, how, how has that kind of changed out with Coach Gap for a career versus Coach Gap and now you still have Coach Gap? Oh, <laughs> um, honestly, like the first time I had a con conversation with Coach Gasso, I was super intimidated. I'll be honest. I was like, oh my gosh, this is Coach Gasso. Like, I'm like, I have to say the right thing, got to act the right way, right? And then honestly, getting here, um, learning that she has this mother figure over the team and like wants us to become, like she sees us as our children and she wants us to become great young women. And seeing her sense of humor and seeing her motivation for us and seeing how she doesn't, she won't let us stoop under her expectations and rather holding us accountable. Um, it's, it's, it's incredible, it's, it's awesome. Um, my first impression of Coach Gasso is that she's very straightforward and that is a type of coaching that I personally strive under. Um, I don't really like passive coaching. I feel like I would just rather you hold me to a high um, expectation and hold me accountable and I think that's where I grow best so I knew that um, me and Coach, o Coach Gasso would get along very well because I feel like I'm the same way. I'm pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, it's been exactly the same um, since I've gotten here. And same thing, like Coach Gasso has just really been holding us accountable, um, pushing us hard, but that's what I think to win. Yeah, I'd be kind of an off-the-wall question. How did you get involved in Summer League? Just kind of curious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I was going into my freshman year, we obviously had to choose a language. And I'll be honest, um, at the time, like, I heard Spanish was really difficult, but American Sign Language always just seemed very unique and different, and um, I was like, okay, and I was just very curious, right? And so I hopped and in, jumped into the water with that, and um, from there, I just actually really ended up falling in love with the language itself and the community behind it. Um, I think it's fascinating, the history behind American Sign Language, um, just all the truth and it's just crazy and from the I just I I love it I think it's so much fun and I think it's amazing to bring it and to continue to um, share the language with the world so and also how did you get involved in throwing javelin <laughs> and how does that translate <laughs> into softball um, so I started throwing javelin my freshman year of high school um, my weight coach at the time for softball was the javelin coach and <laughs> He, we were lifting like on an off day and he's like, hey, do you want to throw the javelin? And I sat there and I was like, yeah, it's a big long spear. Who wouldn't want to throw the javelin? <laughs> so um, I was like, yeah. And so I picked it up, I threw it. I didn't hit myself in the back of the head, which is an accomplishment in itself. Um, and he was like, wow, you're actually not bad. You should try it. And so then season rolls around and at that time I was managing both javelin and softball and as by the end of the season I actually was throwing really unexpected really big numbers and then from there I just kind of continued on so yeah it's kind of fun for both of you what's it been like getting to work with ERA Bailey and Coach Bowles yeah um, <laughs> I know in my recruiting process that Coach Gasso um, compared me and Tiari's play um, a lot. She would always say, like, you guys are kind of similar names. We were, at the time, we were in the same position. I played middle infield. Um, we're kind of built the same and stuff like that. Um, so I was really excited to work with Tiari, especially because of her career here. I knew that she, she had a lot of knowledge. Um, I think that it's been cool to watch her step into kind of a coaching role. Um, and I think that it was easy for her because she was such a good leader um, in the past years as a player. And so now she's developed into more of a coaching role and just seeing her work with like the middle infielders and stuff, I can always um, see her holding the middle infielders accountable and then just giving them advice that um, is picked up the next play. Like Gabby and all of our uh, middle infielders are very coachable and seeing them get to work with Tiari is pretty special because that we have one of the best um, infielders in the nation as our coach. So it's being passed on and this is how like our next team is gonna be great because we, we have generations teaching the next generation. I mean, like like Tia said, she was a leader coming off and now coming into that that role of being a coach here. And I know personally for me, like I see her as a big sister, right? Someone I can go to when 
I'm kind of confused or when things start moving a little fast or when I'm not, when coach says one thing and you're like, what does that mean? And I know I can go to her and she'll explain it to me and break it down. Um, I mean, it's phenomenal. She's a great person. Um, I know she used to play for my old club team, so I used to see her a little bit here and there and still to come here and continue to learn from her. I'm just, it's awesome. She's a great, great person. For you both, in committing and signing, what's it been like to see the past team continue to roll like they have? And then now that you're here, how do you flip it and balance managing those expectations? Because you have so many new pieces that weren't there last year to, to kind of roll through this year. Um, I think the older girls on the team last year who graduated did a really good job in passing on expectations and transitions to the returners this year. And now it's their job to teach us freshmen. Um, even before we started practicing, they were telling us things that we needed to get done, um, what is expected of us. So I think it's been a pretty um, easy transition in that sense. Um, I think that there are people on this team that knew they were going to have to take on leadership roles, especially with 10 seniors leaving last year. Um, so we have Cassidy, we have Ella. Um, and they knew that that was expected of them. So they have really grown as people in that way because, you know, they, like Ella is a little introverted, but she's a fierce leader. Like she knows what it takes. Um, like she knows that she had to step into that role for the better of this team. So um, we've just had really good returners just teaching everybody the way. I mean, yeah, I just, we're new. And that's, that's the best part about it because it's fun, it's exciting. Um, Coach keeps telling us we're fast, we're scrappy. And I, I honestly look forward to it giving, um, I know, the fans a different look on a different kind of team. And for me personally, like, that's what's so fun about it, right? Giving us the opportunity to continue their legacy in a little different of a way. But at the same time, taking the values that they left behind and now that the returners are trying to continue to instill in us. That's all we have time for. Thank you, ladies.